All right, good day, good afternoon, good morning, good night. Uh, whenever this video really finds you, uh, I hope it finds you well and in good health. I am uh, pu putting up this video here today uh, so I can, again, keep my word to the best of my abilities in, uh, you know, uploading the videos like I said I was going to do. And uh, I did just upload a short before this here, uh, just a quick update about the dozer blade. Yeah, it's nice. I'm happy with how it's turning out uh, so far. I'll try and paint it to make it look uh, a little more regal for the HQ Lehman Russ tank commander that this first Lehman Russ here is or is supposed to represent. And I hope uh, you uh, Warhammer aficionados can pinpoint and pick out the uh, custom details in which I have added on. To the Lehman Russ kit. Uh, for those who are unaccustomed to the Lehman Russ kit and how it works, uh, as of late, and I say that uh, Games Workshop within the last maybe 10 years, the ballpark of 10 years, maybe a little slightly less than that, no longer has all of the extra goodies in the Lehman Russ kit. As, as I've come to experience, uh, there's the, the track guards are no longer there. Uh, the, uh, the storm bolter or heavy stubber is not in there anymore, and the dozer blade isn't either. I found these bits, uh, well, this plastic bit here uh, from another kit I had lying around. I cannot, for the life of me, remember what kit it came from, but I had it in my extra bits bin. And uh, I cut up some of the, oh my gosh, the Hellstorm bolt rifles, I guess. Uh, the Essentially, the weaponry that the heavy intercessors come with. I had some extra guns, so I cut those up and green stuffed them into the side here. And then took the end of a guitar string and the, uh, for the antenna here and green stuffed a little black box in the back. Uh, so hopefully this can provide a better look. Green stuff for what is going to be regal gold flames on this tank. And then hopefully I'll be satisfied with that uh, enough to move on to the custom painted decals. I would like to paint on this tank before I say it's 100% finito. And then another uh, coating of... Uh, Purity seal. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll remember to put that on afterwards. Uh, but otherwise, I hope uh, this is a good depiction of the Lehman Russ, and uh, hopefully, it's uh, satisfactory for you in regards to you being up to speed and updated for uh, the status of my hobby. Uh, furthermore, I was hoping to make this a little longer video today to just express my. Mm -hmm. Ex, I would say express my happiness or excitement even in the guard releases. I, I hope to get my hands on a copy of the uh, starter set with the, you know, uh, the book, the two infantry squads, the new command squad, the new sentinel and the new, uh, what is it, the bombard uh, I forget the actual keyword or the technical, like the, the actual formal name for those new units with the heavy, uh, with the heavy las cannon, the like mini battle cannon, uh, and the multiple missile launcher that reminds me of like a World War II gun. Uh, anyways, or World War II art artillery piece, I mean, uh, but yeah. So I just wanted to express my excitement on that and as well as the recently announced Rough Riders. I am really happy about that, I think, above all else. I think the fact that I can sort of uh, get my girlfriend involved and, and we'll try and customize those bad boys, start off with a squad. I plan to make them rather whimsical so I can bring a sense of uh, humor and uh, levity to the otherwise very grim, dark atmosphere that Warhammer is known to be. 
I have. Maybe that's a pink horse here, a purple horse there. Probably going to try and add some green stuff, unicorn horns to them somehow. I don't know. I, I think I, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time doing that with the sort of metal visors that the horses are kitted with. Uh, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, maybe I can think of a way to just green stuff it in and it look still armored. Uh, so that'll be a fun project, I think. And as well as getting my girlfriend involved will be quite adorable in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, and I guess we're also looking forward to the announcement and release and full on photos of the Lehman, Ro uh, sorry, the Rogel Dorn or Praetorian tank that's coming out. I, I, I'm looking forward to that too, and I think I should be picking one up of those bad boys later on after the initial box set is 100% uh, built and paid and painted, excuse me, and uh, ready for games. So yeah, that's a quick update uh, for y'all, and uh, I hope look forward to hearing your comments questions or concerns in the comments section below um, but uh, before i go i would like to leave you with this what do you think the stats or the profile will be for the plasma version of those lances you know how they in if you read the article on uh, the warhammer community there it gave us the profile for the fragmentation, the frag version of the lances, and the melta version of the lances. And we see in the photos of those uh, of that article uh, another version, another like two pronged blue coiled tip, you know. And and my money, if I was going to place a bet on this would be that those are the plasma versions. Uh, I think I think it might be a strength like plus two, AP three, you know, damage two. Uh, you know, an extra hit on, on impact sort of thing. So you're doing two hits instead of, you know, the three was which I think what I read from the fragmentation version. So you'd get like many hits with the fragmentation version. You'd get a few strong hits with uh, the plasma version and you'd get even fewer stronger hits with the melta version and uh, I think that's how it's going to boil out with the rough riders and then they got weak shooting with the las guns that they're equipped with as well if you want to just move them quickly and have them shoot pot shots once they're on the other side of the table getting another objective that was not under your control earlier in the game so yeah, that's that. these are just snippets of my thoughts and I wanted to share them with you in video format and uh, hopefully garner your response in the comment section below. Uh, anyways, I'm going to leave the video there. Uh, I hope you have an absolute wonderful day and I hope to find you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace be with you.